recalibrating our taste buds. Welcome back, y'all, for another video to recalibrate with Raw Natty Nate, aka the Nice Cream King, coming to you live with the raw food thing. Ooh, you guys, it's really important to give yourself some time when transitioning into anything, whatever it may be. But let's talk about the raw food thing. So transitioning from a cooked plant-based diet to a raw vegan diet, there's gonna be some taste bud recalibration that's gonna to need to go on. Now, if you're coming from a standard American diet, meaning you eat anything and everything, and you're trying to become more plant-based, same thing goes. There's gonna be some recalibration of our taste buds that's gonna to have to happen. You see, when we ingest lots of foods that are very high in oil, they're high in salt, they're high in sugar, we get this intense dopamine hit to our head, right? To our brain. It makes it tricky to enjoy, say, a mango with a banana. It's not as intense because it's not packed with SOS, salt, oil, and sugar. These kinds of foods that are laden with the SOS, the salts, the oils, the sugars, are going to give us a really good dopamine hit, just like a drug. So, we may not like the flavor of the banana or the mango or um, a kale chip, right? Coming from, say, a standard American diet to a plant-based diet, you may be used to drinking milk your whole life and you try a nut milk like a cashew or an almond milk and you think, this isn't the same. No, it's not the same. It's gonna take a little bit to recalibrate the taste buds. Just as a child needs to taste a food 10 to 12 different times before they actually kind of develop a taste for it and enjoy it, the same goes for us. It's gonna take some time to recalibrate our taste buds and that is a process in itself. But give yourself some time, be patient with yourself. I remember when I first got into this lifestyle of a raw vegan, there were certain dishes that I would have that I'm thinking like, oh, I don't really know if I like this. And um, after a few times, it actually became something that I kind of craved. Now that certain thing being some of the dressings that I would make, I'm thinking, do I like this? I'm not sure if I really like this. But after having it a few times, I recalibrated the taste buds and I started to actually crave that certain food. So you guys, recalibration of anything takes time. Be patient with yourself, stay strong, stay positive, and if you're going for the raw food thing, I'm really happy for you. I encourage you to stick with it. Uh, if you're having some issues and you wanna have more ideas and more plans, we have recipe books that are on sale. I'll put the link in the description down below with meal plans, everything you need from the grocery shopping list down to the ingredients that you'll be uh, using with those groceries that you get. So you guys, that's all I have for you for this quick little video. Give it a thumbs up if you stayed this long. And make sure you hit the subscribe button if this is something that you're into and the bell for notifications for new videos that I'll be posting. And until next time, guys, love you.